If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this bottle of Vodka Ciroc into a Glitter Rose Money Flower Bouquet, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video I'm going to be making a Money Flower Bouquet. I have these flowers that I purchased from Timu um, and I'm going to start glittering uh, the roses right now. So I have some Elmer's Adhesive Spray and because I'm going to make this bouquet on top of a bottle, um, of vodka, I need to cut these wires on the roses so they can be smaller, like a lot shorter. So I cut them, which was pretty hard, so if you have a wire cutter, um, that would be great. So I'm going to spray on the glue, it's very sticky, it's kind of messy, that's why I'm trying to do it inside of this Walmart bag. Now I have my glitter that I purchased, um, really, really pretty red glitter, that I purchased from uh, papermart.com and I'm just kind of pouring the glitter inside and then I have a plate here um, letting the excess glitter go into and I'm just kind of taking the flowers and just kind of dusting them into that glitter also just trying a couple different methods now if you want more glitter you could put more glitter on the sides and everything but I just want to do like around the rim and towards the center of the roses and that's enough for me if you want more or less, you just do a little more, you do a little less. Now also um, remember that because this, this glue is very strong, cover up your table or something and make sure you have a fan going. Now I did already pre-make my money flowers because it's pretty time consuming. So I'm not showing you how to make those in this video. Um, I have another video of me making the money flowers. So you could check that out. Um, I used bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree to make my money flowers. They were very long, so as you can see, I'm just shortening them. So they were probably about 12 inches long. I'm shortening them to be at least 4 inches. So here's my foam. I purchased this from Dollar Tree. So this is my floral foam. So in order to make that little circle um, into the foam, I'm taking scissors but I don't, you don't want to go too far because you'll go right through. And you don't want that. So I'm just kind of dig my way halfway through and make a nice little circle. Now I made my circle, but it's, it comes off a little too easily. So you could either, maybe you could do hot glue if you want to. I didn't. I put bubble wrap <laughs> and some rubber band around it. Just so if she wants to drink it, it's not hard to get to it. So I am starting to add in my roses. Now, I'll say you will see me moving these roses around a lot to like kind of readjust. Placement is everything when you're making these bouquets. I'll say that again. Placement is everything and I'm not even 100% there yet. I just kind of eyeball it and move along as I can to make sure it looks right, you know? But what helped me is when I stood up to kind of look down on it to see how everything was kind of coming together. So I think that's the best thing to do, to stand up and look at it. Now this ended up being a little bit more challenging than what I expected. Because when it comes to covering up this floral foam, I had to use so many flowers. So I think for something like this, the bigger the flowers, the better. And then trying to incorporate the money in here. Now, I've seen people do wine bottle bouquets. And they just use all flowers. And they use a bottle of wine. Just like how I'm doing now. But me, I was trying to do something a little different that I hadn't seen. By adding the money flowers to the wine. Which I'm not using wine, I'm using vodka. But you get the point. Adding the money flowers to this, it just made it a little bit more difficult. Because, you know, you just really have to hide things. And if you don't want to use the wire stems, you could use the bamboo skewers, as I'm doing with that rose that I'm putting in here now. So you'll just kind of see me keep readjusting until I start adding the money. Okay, so you see I'm starting to add the money, but I'm still trying to work my way with the roses to make sure that they're kind of together. And if they are kind of falling apart, 
what I've seen some people do is use a little scotch tape to kind of hold them a certain shape um, or if you're trying to get like a perfect circle what you can also do is take away some of the flowers so again I'm just trying to work it to where it looks decent so I'm still breaking my stems and making sure that they're all like kind of lined up now I didn't use a whole lot of money on here and because of that you may think okay that's a little stingy with the money that's not enough money to give somebody as a gift this was me trying this out and this was a gift for my aunt and she liked it and she was very grateful now I think I used only about 13 singles to get around these roses and then from there I added flowers at the bottom now a quick fix to that if that's not enough money for you you can use tens so you can use tens 20s you can use 50s, you can use 100s. So if you have an issue with the singles, you ain't gotta use singles. But whatever money you use, just make sure it's crispy. The crispier the money, the better your money flowers will look. Okay, so here I am using the flowers. Now these flowers came from the Dollar Tree. Now, I didn't realize until I was almost halfway finished that these flowers, the red is not the same as the red as the Timu flowers, but that's okay. It's like a little two-tone look. I'm okay with that. My aunt was okay with that. I don't think it's that noticeable, but it is noticeable. But I'm adding my Elmer's Adhesive Glue Spray and I'm just pressing them in the glitter. Then you just kind of tap them off. Now, if you want to quote unquote seal these, I'm not exactly sure how you'll go about doing that. I guess you could just kind of spray that spray over it again. That might kind of lock it in, but it does get a little messy messing with, um, with glitter. As you can see, this is like a darker color flower. So the goal is to cover up all that white floral foam because you don't just want that showing. What you also don't want to show are the bamboo sticks. So I'm thinking if I do this again, maybe what I'll do next time is make those even shorter. So maybe those could be shorter, but I think the way I covered it, I did, I think I did pretty good. So I use a total of like, I think four or five bouquets which only come with about five on each bouquet from Dollar Tree thank goodness I had all those extra flowers red especially because I had some purple some white I had other colored flowers and I just wouldn't have wanted to make it be all those different colors so I'm glad I had the red now I got that filled up we'll get back to the um, bouquet so I have this rose um, flower bouquet paper wrap I think that's what it's called floral paper and it has like a nice silky texture to it I purchased this particular paper off Timu because it was a lot cheaper the paper on Amazon I have some of that too it's all black with like a gold trim you get 20 sheets for $14 so it's not really cheap on Timu you get about 20 sheets for about $6 so you do the math you see the difference so I didn't want, um, oh, and what I did is I stapled it. So you, you want to have those cute, like triangle, like ruffles. I didn't want the floral paper to go all the way around because I wanted you to be able to see the front of the Ciroc bottle. So I only put the paper towards the back. I thought it looked nice that way, but you can put the floral paper around the whole thing if you want to. Some people don't want to show the bottle. They want it to be a surprise, but that's not the look I was going for. Now, another thing that I will say, when I made my first money bouquet uh, with the roses, I had a hard time with this paper, but I've been watching some videos, to try to get some practice in. Oh, and what I'm doing, I'm taking some scotch tape to try to hold that tape on to the bottle. I had a hard time. So it really takes some practice to play around with this paper. But you just really just kind of figure out how to make it look cute. I think the staples really helped me a lot because I was using tape 
to make my ruffle stay. Oh, I had some pretty black ribbon, couldn't find it. So I had to use this Dollar Tree ribbon that has pink hearts and red hearts. I mean, I really took my time trying to find that black ribbon, but it just wasn't happening. So I just had to use what I had. And plus, I didn't like how thin this ribbon was. I wanted like a thicker ribbon. And I'm still trying to work on tying a cute bow, so I'm trying. I think this would have looked better if the back of the ribbon was the same color as the top, like that white showing. I don't really care for that. And I thought my bow looked pretty stingy. So I'm gonna show you what I did to cover up the bow, to make it look a little cuter. So um, what I did is I ended up finding a cute sparkly um, hair bow. A cute sparkly sequin hair bow that I brought for my daughter. And I put that on there because I just wanted a bow, like a cute bow. So make sure you have ribbon and practice your ribbon tying. If you know how to tie a good ribbon or a good bow, um, you'll be in there. But see how this was looking? I just wasn't really digging that. I still left it on there. But look, I added the sequence bow and that helped it out a lot. So um, that that was a lot better. So okay, you guys, this is the finished final result of this glitter rose money bouquet. And I think it came out pretty. My aunt absolutely loved it. She absolutely loved it. Looking at it from certain angles, something looks a little crooked, but I just feel like it depends on how you look at it. Because if you look at it from the top, looking down on it, it looks fine. But from the front, it's a little different. Maybe what I could do next time is do flowers in the middle at the top and then at the bottom do all money, maybe. Maybe that would be a little different. Um, but I like it. It was my first time, and I think it came together pretty cute. These are nice gifts. Yes, this was a Valentine's Day gift for my aunt. Yes, Valentine's Day has already passed. I was a little late with my editing. I actually made this on Valentine's Day. I was a little last minute with it. But anyway, these aren't just for Valentine's Day. People are going to want these type of things for, like, Mother's Day. They're going to want these for graduations. Um, they're going to want these for birthdays. There's so many different occasions and reasons why someone would want one of these. So I like to know how to make stuff just in case because I like to make DIY gifts for people. I like to make things um, and give them away to family and friends. So knowing how to do this was pretty cool. Um, again, you don't have to use money. You could do the bottle with the wine or the vodka, whatever you decide with just the flowers. And of course you could use real flowers, but if you use real flowers, of course, you know that you would have to use a wet foam. And you have to wet the foam to make the flowers last. And you would just put the um, foam in like some uh, saran wrap or something like that. There's videos of people doing that on YouTube as well. So that would be very helpful. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or found it helpful or unique. Or send it to someone that may be interested in doing something like this. The money flowers, like I said, if you could just make as many as you need to and set them to the side, they could be pretty challenging. But again, whatever money you use, just make sure it's some nice, crispy money. This money looks decent. Um, I had 100 singles. As I got lower in the stack of the hundreds, they got better. But I had some real raggedy money, and it was hard to make them look nice and like just crispy. But yeah, just work on your placement. Um, and you'll be just fine. I'm not going to say this is easy. I mean, if you have a, a good history working with flowers and doing flower arrangements, I think it'll be better for you. I don't know much about flower arrangements and bouquet wraps and tying ribbons. That's not really my thing. But I'm interested in learning about it. So I found this, you know, I found it pretty cool. It was a little challenging, but I did it. And I like it because it's different. I haven't seen anybody use, like, liquor and then do the bottle with the actual money flowers. So, um, thanks again, and subscribe to this channel if you want to. If you decide to subscribe to this channel, um, make sure that you do go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again, you guys, bye-bye.
website myworldradiance.com and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code myroyalbeauty 10 off. Check out our website crtacticaldefense.com where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code vibes for a special discount for my subscribers. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at life is a whole vibe. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. Bye-bye.